Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video, the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that is dropping in week nine of Palace's Spring 2023 collection. Hey, welcome back guys. Lovely to have you back here for another drop list video and as just mentioned, in today's video, we're going to be covering everything to do with week nine of Palace Skateboards' Spring 2023 collection. Now, in the video, we'll be covering the release details for week nine, all the individual pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on the week as a whole. Now, how we're going to cover all that is, of course, by doing what we always do, by using a Max Merch More Instagram post, where we'll be covering all the information. We'll head on over to that page now and we'll quickly cover the release details for week nine. Here we are at the Instagram post that we'll be using today, guys. It'll be linked down in that description section below if you guys want to check it out. We'll quickly cover these release details and then we'll dive into the individual pieces here. So spring 23, week nine, all items will be releasing Friday, March 31st, 11 a.m. GMT time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, in-store and online. Uh, comment below which items you're looking to cop this Friday. Likewise, fellas, let me know what you're planning on picking up this week. Uh, now that we've covered the release details to do with that, oh, I should probably also cover the Japanese release details as well. So, yeah, it's dropping March 31st, the Friday, 11 a.m. GMT time for the UK, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the US. Uh, then it's dropping a day later on the 1st of April, April Fool's Day. Uh, it'll be dropping 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time in store and online. Uh, if you guys have any further questions on when and where it's dropping, comment section below. I'll try and help you out the best I can. But yeah, now that we've covered literally every region, now we can get into what we're actually going to be getting this week. Let's dive in and start talking about the pieces that are releasing on page one. <laughs> okay, guys, here it is. So, an item that some of you guys have probably been waiting for all season. I honestly think it's one of the ugliest pairs of footwear that I've ever seen in my life. But what we have is the collaborative boots yeah boots quite literally with ugg we have the classic short silhouette coming in a lightning chestnut or a lightning black on the back of it it features the palace logo uh, arcing on um, the back panels there and the lightning continuing on the front of it both the arcing palace logo and the lightning has been a motif that has been used in past palace designs I could probably say that I would like it on any other past palace design over this one, but maybe you guys are really fun, and, like really keen on this collab just because of its, you know, its absurdity. Maybe you just really want some lightning Ugg boots. I don't know, but it's releasing in those two colors for week nine. Up next, we have the utility. Uh, is it Gillette in a camo denim and uh, an anthracite, um, or basically just a black mixed with some gray. Uh, I actually like it. I think it's a cool uh, silhouette. I think it's a cool piece. I like it in the denim. The camera is all right. I don't mind it in the anthracite as well. Um, I don't wear vests, but um, I could definitely see this looking really nice over the top of just some like simple hoodie outfits, um, just to add as an extra layer to it. So yeah, very solid outwear piece. Next, we got the Believe Crew Truest coming in a red. Oh, sorry, Believe Crew coming in a truest, truest red, a black, and a navy. Yeah, they're the only three colors. I actually think this is a really nice crew neck. So it's a crew neck inspired by a lots of sport, sports jerseys. I really like the paneling, the palace font, um, the 23 logo, the ribbing on it. It, it. It's a nice piece. I really like it. It's a cool combination of crew neck meets sports jersey, and it looks awesome. Uh, I think my favorite color would probably be the black. Just a nice hit of orange there as well. Would look nice under my um, Baltimore Orioles uh, Jeff Hamilton jacket as well. Yeah. Uh, next we got the Heavy Stripe Knit coming in an orange, green, and navy. I love it. I love the stripes. The only thing that I'm kind of bummed out about is the color options. I kind of wish they were different. The color combos, I'm like, this doesn't match a lot with my wardrobe. And, like, it's nice. It's a very nice piece, but... I don't want to go out there picking up these colors of pieces that I just know I wouldn't wear because of the color, but uh, unfortunate. Would have liked it in other colors for sure. 
Moving on down, we have the P3 Snake Applique Hoodie. So there's a lot there. We've got the Palace Triferg um, coming in a applique design with a snake texture being applied inside the lettering there. Comes in a gray, comes in teal, comes in a lilac, comes in a navy, although that does not look like a navy at all, <laughs> but apparently it is. Uh, yeah, it, it's an okay Triferg logo hoodie. Uh, I'm not big on the Triferg hoodies these days, and even beforehand I never really was. Like when they have some cool designs to them, they're fun, but uh, when they're just like, the font with the texture or the font with the color, I don't know, something or other. Uh, yeah, it, it just doesn't excite me as much. I need like a cool graphic to it, but uh, yeah. That's all I really have to say about all the items on page one, guys. I think my favorite piece on page one has to go to the Believe Crew or maybe the, the Utili uh, Utility uh, Gillette or Gillette. Uh, yeah, nice pieces on this uh, first page of week nine though, guys, definitely. Uh, we'll move on now and go check out page two. Now moving into the second page, we have the applique hood making another reappearance in an olive color, features in a black as well, and they're the final colors for it. Uh, my opinions haven't changed too much on these color options. They're definitely a lot nicer than the previous color options we saw on page one, but it's not swaying me so much where I'm like, wow, I need this piece. Uh, moving on down, we have the baggy cargo shorts to match the utility vest that we saw before. Uh, I'm not a like cargo shorts guy. I'm definitely not a jorts guy. I think the best one is definitely the black color, but uh, yeah, each to their own with that one for sure. Moving on down, we have the Gore-Tex P6 panel coming in a stonewashed denim, uh, a, six, uh, a camo one and a white on white. Uh, look, if you just want like a nice material uh, P6 panel, I think this is definitely a pickup for you. Comes in some nice colors. I like it in the stonewashed denim and I like it in the white as well. Solid. Uh, I hope that there's a black one as well on the next page, which is the final page, page three. Uh, we'll have to go check that out and see if that's the case. But uh, I'd have to say my favorite piece on page two is going to go to the, yeah, the Gore-Tex P6 panel. It might actually be my favorite piece on page three as well. <laughs> We've got it uh, coming in the black denim, which is cool because I thought it was just going to be like a black canvas, but no, black denim, like the stone wash. So cool. Yeah, solid. That'd be a really nice cap. Moving on down, we have the Gore-Tex bucket camo hat. I'm assuming to match the... Oh, okay, I was going to assume it was going to match like the, you know, the, the, uh, the utility uh best but no it's not it's not matching because it comes in different colors but uh yeah a nice little hat option nonetheless nice little gore-tex logo there um camo stone wash or black i think the black's probably my favorite uh yeah that is everything on page three i think i'm going to say that my favorite piece is again the gore-tex p6 panel just solid nice materials can't go wrong uh there is alluding to another page but i'll show you guys what that's all about so this is just another look at the uh, palace Uggs. So here we are here, showcased here. We can see the lightning motif is on every single panel. And as I was talking about, there's an arcing palace uh, logo on the back of it there. Now this view only gets shown to the iconic um, chestnut color. The black color does not get a nice little preview video like this. But uh, yeah, just in case you needed to see what they look like, here you go guys. If you missed the palace post, that's what they look like uh, for me. This video didn't persuade me either. I was like, why? <laughs> Still just why. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that is week nine, guys. Uh, all in all, there wasn't any... Well, okay. Maybe the Uggs. But the Uggs, I feel like I'm like, yeah, whatever. I was going to say that for week nine, there's no absolutely hideous pieces. But the Uggs are kind of swaying me on that one. All in all, though, I think it is quite a solid week, though. Like, the Believe Crew is nice. The utility uh, vest is nice. The heavy stripe knit's nice. The PE3 snake hood is kind of eh for me. The shorts work. The, ca uh, the hats this week are really nice. Really solid, versatile options. Yeah, no, week nine is a solid week, I gotta say. And of course, everyone will remember it for the Uggs, but I will actually remember it for everything else. <laughs> well, guys, uh, that is everything covered for the week nine. Uh, I want to hear how you guys feel about the week. Is it a yes? Is it a no? Do the Uggs make it a week? Do the Uggs ruin the week? Let me know down in that comment section below. 
That's everything covered about week nine, guys. It's releasing this Friday, 31st of March, or the 1st of April, April Fool's Day, uh, if you live in Japan, 11 a.m. in the respective time zones. Uh, if you guys have any further questions um, about the drop at all, let me know in the comment section below. I'd also love to hear down in that comment section below, now that we've covered everything to do with it, what you're gonna be picking up from week nine if you are picking up anything at all. And please let me know if you're not, because that's also an awesome thing to talk about in the comment section below, if you're not picking up anything as well, because I don't pick up anything from like 99% of the weeks. Um, I mainly come in from the secondary market perspective or when stuff is on sale. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys are copying. I'd love to have that conversation with you guys down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming palace releases, collabs, seasons, you gotta give me the three indicators I won't stop nagging you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, a subscribe to the channel. As mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3605 before the end of March. We are less than five subs away from hitting that subscriber milestone, guys. So hopefully with your continuous support, we can reach 3605 before the end of the month. But yeah, that's everything to say, guys. We covered the release details, the individual pieces, my thoughts and opinions on the week. That's everything all nicely wrapped up. I wish you the best of luck if you're going for something from week nine. Hopefully you can pick it up in the size and color you are after. But until the next drop list video, until the next streetwear dog video, until the next palace skateboards video in general, I'll catch you later.